The NoiseGate plugin, Renegade, was introduced in August 2020 by Auburn Sounds. Renegade is available in a free and paid version. This demonstration is using the paid version of Renegade. The free version should be all you need. I will just provide a basic demonstration to Renegade and for a more complete instruction and information about Renegade, I refer you to Auburn Sounds website, which is auburnsounds.com to download Renegade, as well as to access the Renegade manual and other information about Renegade. To open Renegade, click on Effect, VST, and Renegade. In case, there may have been previous changes made to Renegade, it's always a good idea, before using Renegade, to start with the default settings. To set Renegade to its default settings, click here. Then select Factory Presets. And then select Defaults. For editing dialogue audio, the presets for vocals, provided with Renegade, might provide the only noise gate settings that you will need to apply to your audio. If you do want to manage settings, rather than simply using presets, Renegade allows you to set many options, such as attack and release. On their website, auburnsounds.com, they provide this wonderful tutorial on Renegade, entitled Cheat Sheet. For vocals, which would include spoken word for podcast and voiceovers, Renegade has three vocal presets, accessed by clicking here, then selecting factory presets, and choosing either vocals cleaner, or vocals cleaner 2, or vocals to breathing. I would start out using vocals cleaner, and if you want a lower noise floor, then choose vocals cleaner 2, and if you are concerned about noise gating breaths, and also want a lower noise floor, lower than the vocals cleaner plugin provides, then choose vocals to breathing. I will just demonstrate the vocals cleaner preset, but recommend you try all three presets for vocals to see which one works best for the type audio you are editing. After using a preset to noise gate your audio, look at your waveforms and listen to the audio to be sure that the presets are not negatively affecting the intelligibility of the words. I liked the results that all three vocal presets made when noise gating the audio. Results of using these presets will vary from audio recording to audio recording. If these vocal presets work for you, then using the vocal presets provided with Renegade will make for quick, easy, automated work when applying noise gate to your dialogue audio. And if you don't want to use presets, you can always adjust Renegade manually without using a preset. To increase the size of the waveforms, making the waveforms easier to see, change the wave the form setting from linear to dB by placing your mouse cursor inside this vertical scale bar and right clicking, then change from linear to dB. Now the waveforms are larger, making it easier to view the waveforms of spoken words, as well as making it easier to view waveforms of noise along the noise floor. This is how to apply one of these presets, Vocal Cleaner, to your audio. First, click here, then select Factory Presets, and then select Vocal Cleaner. Next, select the portion of audio you want to apply Noise Gate to. We want to apply Noise Gate to the entire audio file, so click on Select, then All. Now you will see that the entire audio file has been selected. Next, click on Apply. Now you have applied noise gate to the entire file. If you should discover that using a preset works for you, then simply use a preset, rather than manually adjusting settings. However, if you want to manually adjust settings, rather than use a preset, here is just a basic demonstration, 
of how to adjust the noise gate settings manually. Before manually adjusting the noise gate, without the use of a preset, return Renegade to its default settings by clicking here, then selecting Factory Presets, and then select Defaults. The following is a direct quote from the Auburn Sounds online manual about Renegade, available on the auburnsounds.com website. Threshold sets the quantity of energy needed for the detector to be considered open. Threshold can be set in both the gain map and the detector. Threshold will be invisible when it's meaningless, if the sequencer works alone, without the detector. If the detector's opening is controlled by MIDI, and as such need no threshold. Attack and release control the smoothing of the gain reduction signal. Do not hesitate to set them really low, 0 milliseconds, since a variety of countermeasure exists to avoid nasty audio clicks. If you set the envelope through the envelope display, you will also have access to a hold setting and a mix setting. Use the mouse wheel to zoom, unzoom in the envelope display. The mix parameter scales the gain reduction signal from 0 to 100%. Mix can be set as a number of decibels in the gain map or as a linear gain in the envelope display. End of quote. First, select a portion of audio that is representative of the noise that you want noise gate to remove. Be careful not to select noise that is louder than the spoken word in your audio. After applying noise gate, you will always want to listen to your audio to make sure that the beginning and the ending of words have not been removed. You can also examine the audio waves before and after applying noise gate, just to make sure that the beginning and ending of the audio waves, that is part of the voice audio, is not being cut off after applying noise gate. It could be, you just want a constant noise, like that of a fan or air conditioner, removed by noise gate, or it could be, that you want louder noise, higher than the noise floor, like breaths, clicks, etc., removed by noise gate. Let's say, that you want to set the noise gate to the loudest volume level of this audio that I have selected. First loop the selected audio where it will play continuously over and over again. To loop the selected audio, press your shift key and space bar. Next, drag this up or down in the detector bar to adjust the threshold to the point that the selected audio is no longer heard as signified by the indicator bar losing its color green and there is no light blinking by the word MIDI at the bottom of the detector bar. You can make other adjustments to the noise gate such as adjusting the attack and release. and then select the portion of audio you wish to apply noise gate. To apply noise gate to the entire audio, click on select, and then all. Now that all the audio has been selected, click on apply. If you find that after applying noise gate, that the beginning and ending of words are being cut off, you may need to adjust other items, such as the attack and release, and or reduce the threshold until the, the beginning and ending of words are not being cut off. After applying noise gate, you should always listen to the audio and check the audio waves to make sure that noise gate is not cutting off the beginning and ending of the words, which could negatively affect the intelligibility of the audio. Also, after running noise gate, you might want to check the noise floor level. The noise floor level should be below minus 65. 
Many audio editors prefer not to have a zero noise floor, as a zero noise floor drops off the audio so sharply between words that it sounds unnatural and can make for uncomfortable listening. Anywhere between minus 65 decibels and minus 100 decibels should be okay, with anything quieter than minus 100 decibels being almost like a zero noise floor. It is all a matter of preference. Some people even like audio with a zero dB noise floor. It is all about what sounds best to you. If it sounds good to you, chances are it will sound good to others. An easy way to check the noise floor level in Audacity is to simply select a portion of the noise floor you wish to check the noise floor level and then click on Analyze, then Contrast, and then Measure Selection. And you will see that the noise floor level after applying noise gate is minus 91.43 decibels. For an accurate noise floor reading, you would first want to normalize the audio to zero prior to checking the noise floor level. This audio has previously been normalized to zero, so this should be the accurate noise floor reading. Making something simple is one of the hardest things to do. Renegade is a great example of making a complex task, like applying noise gate to audio, simple. That was a basic demonstration of how to use the noise gate plugin, Renegade. Thanks for watching. Please check out our website, opportuno.org, for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.